what was your favorite moment during Gamergate? I remember a meetup in Washington, D.C. And what I loved about it is it was just a cross section of <laughs> of humanity. Every, you know, it was men and women. And there was like a, a, a group of gay women who were gamers and who were fed up with the critics of Gamergate talking to them and it was just and then there was an insane bomb threat and arthur chu I, he didn't do the bomb threat as far as i know but he was tweeting madly about about us and, and even tried to get the owner of the bar not to allow us to have a meetup and i guess my favorite moment was the i think the owner of the bar was from afghanistan and he said you know i fled a society that was full of threats and this is a democracy I'm going to let this go on. I like that guy. And, uh, or girl. Like, I do you remember him? No, I don't. I, I wasn't there. I hosted the St. Louis meetups, oh. though. But uh, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. That's I. He's he sounds or she sounds. I don't know. Was it a male or a woman? He I, I did, a man. Yeah. Okay. He sounds awesome. He was great. That was a great moment. All right. Um, last two because I know we're super pressed. Um, if you could have changed, no, that's not that. that. What would you have <laughs> personally have done different? No, actually, no. Let's do this one instead. What have you personally learned from Gamergate? Oh, what have I learned? Um, I guess I keep learning over and over again. The very beginning of my career, when I I saw what I thought were some unhealthy developments in uh, feminist theory, I thought that it was just enough to. Um, point out the fallacies and tell people where i thought they went wrong and that everything could be fixed by um clarity and reason and what i learned in gamergate is that uh yeah that's probably not enough and that people will misrepresent reality and journalists will reprint it and what's happened now <laughs> if you look up gamergate it's been reduced to uh, just a campaign of, of misogyny. It's, uh, they were able to do that. And so I've seen the power of uh, the power that comes from a combination of you know misinformation and moral passion. And it did not lead to progress. It led to you know, just more uh, confusion and uh, misunderstanding. So sure. I just, it was an example of how powerful that combination of can be all right last question some people reading this might hold a uh, a negative view of gamergate is there anything you want to say to those people i would just say uh, you probably don't understand it and if you you know you can find it if, if you have a negative view of gamergate it's just like saying you have a negative view of i don't know uh novels or uh, or human life or something <laughs> it was everything it was a cross section and it showed people at their best and worst and that's pretty much the human condition and uh we we want to improve we want it to be better but uh it's probably made better by uh trying to be a little more reasonable and having a little more understanding for both sides so i would recommend that and even me, I mean, I go back and think, uh, I do think, you know, well, should I have focused more on, you know, what was genuine sexism in the games or genuine sexism? I tried to a little bit, but maybe I, maybe I could have done more of that. But, but again, it, it's just, it's, it's very hard in, in something so vast as the world of video games to identify something that's, you know, a, a, that's clearly uh, a wrong because there's just and and that represents the whole because there just isn't it's just complex i keep saying that but it's complex so try to be a little more understanding and a little more curious awesome well hey thank you so much christina this has been this has been fun and it, uh i do apologize about rushing towards the end there and i think i said fuck at one point which like is fine in gamer culture but like Obviously, you're a professional media person, so like it's a little bit. Oh gosh, I don't care. So, okay, cool. <laughs> That's okay, thing. cool. Women aren't prude. <laughs> Why well, not? Because you're a woman, but because like you're a professional person, and I'm like a gamer. Oh, as if we don't say. <laughs> uh, no, it's fine. 
<laughs> okay. Well, hey, fine. And I, I love what you're doing. Thanks. And uh, if you're bored tomorrow night, uh, I know somebody who's hosting a debate on the patriarchy and Gamergate, and they want to talk to you. They're like, I want to talk to Christina Hoff Summers. So if you want to debate the patriarchy and Gamergate tomorrow night, you can. <laughs> I'll keep you in touch. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thanks for coming on. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Right. Bye.